Hi, my name is Mark and I'm an ASC Certified Master Technician with over 35 years experience. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly diagnose and repair this vehicle using the tips and tricks that I've gathered throughout my career. Let's get started. What we have here is a 1998 Ford Explorer 4.0 liter engine. Our customer came in with the check engine light on. Also, they were complaining about a stumble or hesitation at cruising speeds. I'm going to show you how to properly check the differential pressure feedback sensor. The well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to scan to see if there's any trouble codes. So let's just dive in. The tools required for today's diagnostics is fender cover, safety glasses and gloves, a vacuum pump, quarter inch ratchet and a short extension, eight millimeter socket, digital multimeter, some probe pins, alligator clips, and a scan tool. So what I did is I removed our access cover to our DLC under the dash, simply gonna plug it in, turn our ignition on. We're gonna scan for codes. And immediately what we have is P1401 differential pressure feedback EGR circuit high input. So let's go ahead, pop the hood, and take a look at our sensor. So let's go ahead and do a visual inspection. What we want to do is check our plug connector, make sure it's in. Take a look at the wires pretty close. If there's signs of rust or corrosion, that could be an indication, setting off our code. Also, the vacuum lines, check them. Make sure they're nice and pliable, there's no cracks in them. So let's just go ahead and check for voltage now. Now that we've finished our visual, what we want to do is we want to remove our electrical connector. We're going to set our multimeter on DCV, direct current voltage. We're going to remove our electrical connection. We're going to have our ignition on. We're going to take our first lead, stick it in our first connector. The second lead is going to go in the middle. That's the signal that comes from the PCM. We're going to check for five volts, which is good. So now we're going to investigate further with our vacuum. So we just checked for five volt reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pin connectors and we're going to stick them in the first lead, which is our negative, and then our signal on our third leg there. We're going to reconnect this. We switched out to alligator clips. We're going to go DCV. We're actually going to take our black, connect it to the bottom. Red to the top. We're going to disconnect our vacuum hose the forward one towards the radiator. So let's just go ahead, attach our vacuum gauge to our front port to our differential pressure sensor. With the car running, we're gonna to wanna to test this. Go ahead, start the vehicle. So what we want to show here is four volts. We're going to give it some vacuum. You can see we have a raise in our numbers. So it actually means that this part of the test is great. So now that we checked our voltage at this point, what we want to do is remove our differential pressure feedback sensor and check it for resistance. So let's go ahead, remove all these things and remove our feedback pressure sensor. So let's remove our electrical connector. We can pull those pins out, push that aside. Remove our vacuum hoses, eight millimeter socket, short extension.
Let's just go ahead, take our part out. Now we can check it for resistance. So now that we have our pressure sensor removed, what we want to do is we want to check for resistance. We're going to have our digital multimeter set on ohms this time. What we want to do is we want to take our negative lead and we're going to attach it to our first post. We're going to take our positive lead and we're going to put it on the signal part and check for resistance. So right there we have no resistance. We can assume this part is bad. Let's go ahead and check a new one and see what the resistance is on that one. So now that we determined that our part was bad, what we want to do is check our new part. So we're going to do the same. We're going to be on ohms. We're going to take our first post and our second post and we're going to look for resistance. So there we have activity. We have resistance. So let's go ahead and reinstall our part. So we have our replacement part here. What we want to do before we reinstall is to check to see if the ports are the same, our electrical connections are the same, and our mounting areas are the same. Everything looks pretty good. So let's just go ahead, reinstall our new part. So let's go ahead and properly torque our bolts. We're going to reinstall our vacuum lines. And reinstall our electrical connection. Now let's go ahead and erase our codes. Now that we replaced our part, what we want to do is we want to erase the code. Let's go ahead, install our DLC connector, turn the ignition on, erase the code. Now let's go for a test drive, see how this baby runs. Well, we just came back from our road test. We got rid of that stumble and hesitation that our customer was complaining about. During our diagnostics, we found out that our differential pressure feedback sensor was bad. As you've seen, it was a pretty simple part to replace. You know what? Everything looks fine right now, and we're going to give this customer back a nice running vehicle.